welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and tonight I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you, and some creme brulee coffee. Oh, so good. Mm. I picked it up at Aldi. All right, I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's a pretty much of a mishmash. I didn't find a lot of the things I'm looking for, but a lot of my stores don't have all their fall and Halloween decor in yet, so I'm okay with that. So let's start with some stuff. There's no order. I just have it scattered about. I did find one of the red truck ribbons and I know somebody is sending me some. So this will probably be gifted to my niece because I don't think she found any either. Or I can make a big old bow. But I did find one of those. I found these. I don't, they're just called wood hanging decor. But think how fun that could be for an ornament of some sort. Not even just for our Christmas, but look how thick that is. So I grabbed one of that shape because that's all I could find. And then I grabbed four of the stars. Now these are going to be definitely for Christmas. Uh, I think I'm going to decorate them for my family and each household will get their own. This isn't as heavy as this. This one is pretty heavy, but it's okay. We'll figure out a fun craft to do. So I grabbed four of these. I may need a couple more. I have to do some counting and see which, you know, who I'm making them for and their household with our name on it. So I definitely have a plan for those. Um, I just grabbed a thing of the tumbling blocks. I can't find the just plain ones. This box here, I think is the two-tone. Yeah, so I have a couple already but um, so I can separate the dark and the light out. So I'll put all the darks and all the lights together. And I think these are thinner, but I don't know. Anyway, they're good to have whenever I see them. I try to pick up one or two just to have on hand for some crafting. Sorry if I'm coming in and out. The light is very weird right now. It's um, going on seven o'clock. Um, I found some more body parts for my Halloween something. These are just bones. So now I have hands, bones, and skulls. I'll probably just make like a bowl, put out in a glass bowl full of like body parts. Sounds like Halloween to me. So I grabbed one of those. I grabbed one of these pumpkins. I have the white. These are cream colored. But I only think I have one of them. And I, you know, you can always paint these. And what I may end up doing is just painting the stem like a copper because I'm obsessed with copper. So I grabbed one package of those. I did find, Wellington, what are you doing, buddy? His bed's up here because I'm still cleaning up after the painting mess. And so his bed's on the couch. Um, I grabbed some of this, which is uh, Heidi Swap glitter. Now, this is chunkier than the glitter I normally use. I like the microfine glitter. Debbie, you say hi. You say hi. Say hi to the peoples. Um, but this will be fun. So I only grabbed the gold. I think this might even be fun in like a glass ornament or bulb, potentially, or just sprinkled over some stuff. Hi. What's up? You want me to screech your head? Oh. He's not been feeling great. I got to call the vet. I think his asthma is flaring up again. This is the time of year that it happens and I get him some medicine and he's fine. But he's been kind of mopey the last few days. So we'll see. So anyway, I found this Heidi Swap, which is exciting to me, to be honest with you. Um, these letters, which I showed in my DIY, I didn't haul them yet. Um, I'm obsessed with these rub off letters. And I like that how many letters you get. So I do have three packages of these, so I feel like I can do some more crafting. I did the books. I'm going to point because they're over there, but I like that. Don't do anything naughty back there, sir, like licking parts. I found one more of these um, in the school section. I just like the clear ones. Um, and for this one, actually, specifically, I'm going to put in my desk drawer because I did get a new desk. I think I showed you from Ikea when I started working from home, and I have 10 drawers and I think um, I'm gonna put my planner pens in this and it can go into a skinny drawer but I love these so I have this one and I have another one sitting over here that I was waiting to bring up that I had purchased before and was using it for something else 
should I do my typical pull them off? But these are great if you have like small drawers because look how low profile that is. But they also stack up really nicely and they don't, they lock into place. And you can easily like put what's in it or see what's in it. So whenever I see the clear, I like to pick them up just to have um, for storage because I'm always looking for craft storage. It's okay, Alex. You coming now? Now Alex is coming. Oh, I found this first aid kit and I'm going to stick it in my car. What you guys doing? I will show you if I can get it open. I have never seen this before. And it could just be new to my store. It is a green briar. But I thought this would be perfect in my glove compartment. Um, because of the container that it's in. But it comes with a pair of tweezers, which, you know, everybody knows who has to pluck chin hair. The car is the best place to do it. You get the best light. Um, it comes with a diaper safety pin and then some little safety pins. It comes with a little pair of scissors. I'm not sure what that's cutting, but it's got them. It comes with some Q-tips and a, just a couple band-aids, but there's plenty of room to add more. And then in here, you have a screwdriver, a nail file, and a, like a blade. Again, I don't know what you're sawing or doing with any of these things, but if you ever get stuck in your car, and see how much room there is extra. I can put a few more band-aids and maybe some other first aid stuff and just toss this in my glove box. And then, you know, if something should happen, I'm out and about and I need a little bit of first aid, I can put some alcohol wipes in here and just toss it in. I think this is great. Um, even for your backpack, diaper bags, anytime you're out and about, it's always nice to have a little kit. So I got it and it says first aid on it. Gosh darn it. I found these orange peach mango to try, sun kissed, and they are, uh, they have 1,000 milligrams and no aspartame. So I'm going to try this peach mango drink. I keep saying I'm done buying, hey Alex, I'm done buying these, but then I see new flavors. And it's not like they, I mean, I'm sure they do have a use by date, but it's not until 22. I just leave them in because these are hard to come by come fall winter time I feel like at the Dollar Tree and I drink them all the time so I grab those to try and I may pass them off to my little cousin because she does go back to school soon oh this reminds me it's a dog toy the balls the red ball oh we're grooming each other oh no oh, oh, he's grooming himself um the red and the blue balls, those really hard ones, and I said I was going to try them with my cousin's dogs. I did, and they're still chewing on them. They did not get destroyed. And her dogs are big old German Shepherd super chewers, and those kids of hers, those dogs, can tear up a chunk it in no time. Like, they could tear this up. This is definitely not something for them. But please look at this. It's like Kong-shaped tennis ball. And this is for my brother's dog because she doesn't have quite the jaw strength that the German Shepherds do. And I thought she would enjoy tearing this apart. Why not? For a dollar, they had different shapes of this. This one felt the most sturdy. Um, yeah, but so if you, if you have a super chewer dog, and we're very careful with the balls and the dogs, but if you've got a, a dog that chews a lot, bye, that chews a lot, um, they worked out well. I'm looking for more for them because they get lost and gross, you know, but I'm looking for more when I go back to the Dollar Trees. I picked up these Brillo. This is a Basics, Brillo Basics, Bill, Brillo Basics Heavy Duty Scour Pads. And I'm using these to remove paint from all the surfaces of my house that have paint because we did a lot of painting. Um, a lot, and it works really good. I've been cutting off like strips to use on the woodwork because we got a little overzealous in some spots and I'm having to get um, paint off the woodwork. So I just wet it. I wet the paint and then I go after it with like a strip this big in the woodwork and it gets it off. It's tedious, but it works. So I have, I used one already. It comes in a two pack and this is much better than the Dollar Tree brand, which is great for dishes in your sink, but I needed something heavy duty. And I had paint in my sink. Don't ask. There's, I sh if you watch my vlog, which it didn't go up yesterday because I'm just tired. It'll go up Wednesday. 
but um, or Thursday, um, Thursday I think. But there's paint on my kitchen floor. Um, for crafting purposes, I got a bigger utility knife. I have a an Exacto knife for crafting, but some things I need a little more heavy duty, and I liked that this was larger. I had a bigger, you know, more substantial handle, and it comes with replacement blades. And these blades of a snap-off kind, which is nice. So I'm going to give this a whirl and see how it works out on some more heavy-duty wood, you know, wood scoring and stuff instead of using my paper crafting one. So I just grabbed one. We'll try. If it doesn't work, it's fine. Now, these couple products over here, I'm just not convinced that when COVID comes back, I mean, it hasn't really gone away, but I think it's going to get worse come winter time, from what they're saying that we're gonna have a hard time again finding disinfectant and all of that. So I've just been kind of stashing it a little bit here, a little bit there um, for myself and my family if we all run out. So I grabbed some pine salt and this says kills 99.9% .9 of germs. This is concentrate and I actually use this anyway on my floors and to clean my bathrooms and stuff. So um, what I've done with this is mix some with water and made like a spray when I couldn't find disinfectant before and put it in a squirt bottle. So. Got a couple of those, those are small. And then I found Spick and Span that says it kills bacteria and virus. So I'll throw that in, it's antibacterial, fresh citrus scent. So I grabbed that, the last one in store. And then at another store, I picked up this Pine Glow, which I've seen this everywhere at the Dollar Tree, they've all had it. This is lemon, but it also kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. So here's my recommendation. Take it for what it's worth. It, I could be totally off the mark. I could be totally wrong. But I'm thinking we're going to go back into this COVID mania again. Maybe not as bad, but I'm just going to make sure that I have those things. i not stockpiling toilet paper. I just buy some here, buy some there. I've bought some cleaners here and there. And I'm going to start stocking up on my, like, my freezer with meats and stuff like that. And again, I'm not going out and buying 10 pounds of hamburger. I went to the store today and I bought two pounds. I have a pound for this week and a pound to sit in the freezer. But, you know, over the next couple weeks, I will stock up on some chicken and some meats. And I think I'm buying half a pig with my cousin. We'll see. I don't have to talk to them tomorrow. But, so yeah, I'm just kind of being prepared, being proactive. Or if it gets bad enough and I don't want to go out to the stores, I want to just have myself stocked up. That's kind of how I feel about it. So take it for what it's worth. And I'm also not trying to be panicky or induce riot. And I'm not saying that everything is coming back. I'm just saying that for my peace of mind, if I had a house full stocked up on the things that I needed and I didn't have to go out for a couple weeks, I could be okay with that. And I've got plenty of time to do it where it's not going to break my bank or blow my budget. That's kind of how I'm looking at it too. But that's me. Okay, so I picked up two of these balls vases and one of these this is actually for a project for somebody but I may get two more um so I have these right I did an upcycle I went to Goodwill and I found these I'm gonna say they were probably like Ming Dynasty looking it's metal but it was like painted uh, like an Asian theme I would say um this to look you know like vases and all that but I painted it obviously copper and I am going to either put this one on top on my mantle look how much height that gives it and put a pillar candle just a cheapy doll not a dollar tree because they don't sell them but a Walmart um, unscented candle in here I like that height or I can set this one this shape on top but I think I like the other one better and maybe I can get one of these to sit down here I don't know but these were $3.93 a piece. And the spray paint I bought was $7, but I've used it on like five different projects already. And I just ran out. So really, these were like 5 or $6. And what I liked about them is they're going to give me the height that I want on my mantle for fall. And I'm obsessed with copper. So that's why I painted them copper. So don't discount going to the Goodwill. This were from... Uh, Volunteers of America and they were I got two for like eight dollars so I didn't think that was a bad deal and then I will just sit I could glue the vase on top to make it a little more sturdy we'll see um, 
I'm having my TV mounted over my fireplace, so we'll see what the cats do with that situation. I don't know. Wellington has gotten on the mantle on occasion, but really Alex has never been up there. But when the TV becomes the focal point, we'll have to see. If I see that they're going to get up there, I can glue that vase onto the bottom, like with that E6000, so it doesn't topple over. And I don't ever leave candles burning. And if my TV's up there, I doubt I'll even have candles burning on, ooh, on the fireplace. I've got a hair full of paint. I digress. I bought one more of these. Um, I did hear in the comments that um, some one person, at least, maybe two, had an issue in the microwave with these bowls, so I made a note to not microwave with them. But um, definitely dishwasher, refrigerator. I use them for food storage is what I use them for. I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily going to heat it up, uh, but mostly just to store things in my refrigerator. And I like the shape. So now I have two of the taller, looks like yogurt containers, and I have two of these. And I love that they have the lid and that they can go through the dishwasher. So I grabbed one more when I saw it. So that was good. What else did I buy, guys? Oh, for house, for my kitchen. I've never, I've seen these there before, but not with the black detail. And I just thought it kind of upped its game a little bit. And that it has some padding back here. And this is just going to hang on my cabinet of, under my sink to hang my dish towel from. That's what it's for. Um, you can also use it in your bathroom if you don't have a towel rod, or you could do it over, you know, any finish door, although you could always bend this to hang it really anywhere, or straighten them up, screw a hole in it, and you can make yourself, like, I don't know, a ladder, blank, a mini type blanket ladder, who knows, but I like that it is, here, let me take this off, because I'm keeping this for me, um, you can expand it or make it as short as that so it can be this long or it can be that long there is a stop you can get one or two towels on there and help them and it just helps them dry keeps them from smelling funky so I like that a lot so I grabbed one we'll see I think I've seen them there before but I didn't buy them and now that I'm doing my kitchen again I know I know I just painted my kitchen cabinets but now that I painted my walls this light gray the cabinets have to be painted again because it doesn't look good. For now, they're fine. I am not touching them through the holidays, but come January, they're going to have to get a fresh coat of paint. Okay, I found two more of these, and I just picked them up. If you saw my DIY, I spray painted the lids copper. Did I mention I'm obsessed? Um, and then I'm going to Cricut on here, whatever's going to be in it, and I'm going to gift these at Christmas time. I might, I think I'm going to make the wax melts potentially but anything really could go in here lotion bars or sweetener or spice rubs anything really they have an airtight lit like the rubber seal so what i could do is make like a spice rub put it in a zip bag in here put on here what it is you can even put the ingredients on the back possibly paint the lid maybe not paint the lid although i think it would look great painted black and gift them so i'm I haven't decided yet what's going in them, but I'm leaning towards like a spice rub situation for one of my cousins and I'm making him vanilla, homemade vanilla with vodka and vanilla beans. I can bring you along, but honestly, it's vodka and vanilla beans in a jar. That's it. But I grabbed two more of these. I just grab one or two when I see them. I have the one I'm keeping for myself that has the wax melts in it and then those two and that's all I have trying not to over purchase but I definitely have a need or a use for those for the holidays which guys is coming right up around the corner um, I found two more of these signs and I've just uh, the other ones I've glued together and you'll see it I took the kickstand off and I glued them like this and I used wood glue actually and then I glued this leg to hold them together and now we have a picket fence that's going to have a, a fun sign on it that might get hung outside on my front porch but yeah and I know some people did them separated but I want mine together because I'm going to do a sign on it so I grabbed two more and that's all I needed of that just a couple more things I did find just these two sizes of these baskets again my desk I'm trying to organize the drawers and these are going to fit perfectly in the deeper drawers to separate items 
in the drawers and they'll match because it's white um, but they did have them in a couple different colors these are not dollar tree brand these are crystalline housewares by tektron i only saw them at one of my stores and they had just a couple and i grabbed just two of the white i didn't need a whole bunch there was a bunch of college girls in there getting all excited for these for their dorms and i'm like i just need two white so I grabbed the two different sizes um, to put in my drawer. These would also be great. I love this size to stack up um, in my pantry. I have some this size, and I put tuna pouches standing straight up. Or if you use, um, like, taco seasonings and all those different seasoning pouches, they stand up in here perfectly well. I've also stored in here tea. I have one with this tea box of tea or tea bags in different sizes, so they're great for your pantry. So if I find that I don't have a use in my drawer, I certainly will have a use in my pantry. So there's that. And then the last thing I found, and you'll know it because you saw my thumbnail. I found the, I found all three, but I only like these two. And one's for me and one's for Sarah. Sarah's my niece. Um, for her classroom, I think. She puts a rug in her classroom. Now, you can see my hand through here, but you know what? For just a month or two, these are gonna be fine. I'm gonna put one by my back door because I have one for my front door. So this one just says, hello, fall. And then I got this one that says gather here. So I'll let her pick because I like them both. And whichever one she would like, she can have, and then I'll have the other. What I like, yes, they're thin, but what I like is the back has a rubber coating on it. So I'm pretty sure this will not slide around and I won't have to put, um, a uh, rug backer on it but if i do they have them at the dollar tree and you can just cut to fit i've got one under my front door rug but i like that this has um the rubber grippy on it and i do enjoy that and it might actually go in my kitchen under my in front of my refrigerator we'll see and the other one was a pumpkin but i didn't i didn't need three so i just grabbed the two but do you see the color in that guys that's crazy and somebody said they had halloween ones which i haven't seen yet I feel like I saw a blip of a Halloween one. I just don't know where. So that is everything this week for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you could like and subscribe and share, that would be great because it really helps get my channel some traction. So the more comments and likes we have, um, the more it feeds the algorithm on YouTube apparently. I've been learning, I've been reading. And it gets, it gets my videos out there and they become recommended for other folks to watch. So if you could do that, I would really appreciate it. And you have a great one. I will talk to you later.